this is Sam's Trains and welcome to my first ever YouTube video and today I'm going to be overviewing my 4x8 O scale layout. I have a total of 11 engines, 6 are steam and 5 are diesel engines. Um, the layout is a 4x8 sheet of plywood and um, the track is O gauge tubular track with the black ties. I feel that is Definitely more reliable than fast track. I have had a couple problems in the past with the fast track. And um, there are two operating accessories on the layout. So in this section of the layout, I have a little industrial area. So to the left, to the left, as you can see, I have the coal dumping station that can easily be removed. Just like that although there is a little bit of a mess there. And then to the right is the Lionel icing station. Right here are more pictures of the industrial area. There is a coal dumping station and a Lionel icing station, as I said before. Right here, I do have the passenger station. It is not completed. The uh, wood piece right there is an extension of the platform that I have not created scenery for yet, but will be in the meantime. So right at the top is the town that I have started to create. You can see a couple buildings there right now, and a caboose and a flagpole and a blinking light. The reason that I have turned these lights off is because one of the buildings has LEDs and so it's super bright. So I wanted you guys to see what the town looked like without the LEDs. I'm not done with this scene yet. I'm still gonna put another building where the uh, wood is right there, and then um, one where the camera is standing right now. And then right here, where the orange caboose is, I'm thinking about a little park with some trees, and uh, some tourists maybe, with the uh, taking a picture of the caboose and the flagpole. So I'm going to show you what it looks like with the lights on. Now, the LED is pretty bright and it's hard to uh, get a good look from this perspective, but I will show you right now. So this is the main attraction of the layout. This is the mountain. Now I was, when I intentionally modeled this, I made it, I wanted it to look like the Black Hills of South Dakota, but um, that's not really what happened. Um, this is the first time I've ever done scenery. So, you know, just try to practice a little bit and it turned out pretty good. It's made out of paper mache, and so uh, I ended up taking a 4x8 and cutting it into sort of an L shape here. And then um, obviously I made the tunnel portals, and then um, there's more on the other side, shown here. And um, I ended up, once I got all the paper mache down, I ended up taking black paint, or not black, brown paint right here, and uh, ended up painting so it looked like dirt and then I covered that with ground cover and then to make the rocks I took um, black dye and um, isopropyl alcohol and I dabbed that lightly over it and it actually uh, turned out pretty well here's those tunnel portals I was talking about as you can see you can obviously tell where some of the paper mache did not stick such as like right here and right here but they do look a lot like rocks and I'm pretty proud of it as you can see, I've added a little bit of ground cover right here to add more realistic look to it. So over and all, I think it turned out pretty good. So this right here is my control center and my shelves. The control center is at the very far. I'll give you a view of that later. Um, so the shelves are made out of 2x4s attached to a 4x8. And the 4x8 is attached with side brackets that are attached to the leg. So this right here is my control center. I have a KWL running the inner loop and the gang car track. And this transformer here is running the outer loop. Also, I have the ice station button right over here. And in between here, I have the uncoupling track for the... Um, the coal station. 
So this train is absolutely gorgeous. This is my best diesel in my collection. This is the Pennsylvania GG1. Now this train can actually turn L27, which is pretty amazing. But let's go over some of the features of it. It has twin pull motors. It does have magnet traction. This train does have 20 die cast metal wheels, 12 power drivers, and a die cast cab. Um, it also has die cast trucks, operating headlights front and rear. Uh, it has twin panographs, which I believe can be used for panograph operation if you wish. Um, this also has operating knuckle couplers at both ends, transformers, uh, controlled forward, neutral, and reverse. And this train weighs over six and a half pounds. This right here by far is my favorite steam engine in my collection. This is the Lion Chief Plus Santa Fe Hudson. Now I got this on sale at trainworld.com for about $270. They retail for about $300 now. Um, so this train is absolutely amazing. If you guys leave a comment below if you think I should do a review on this engine. I know this is not the newest form of the Lion Chief Plus engines, but if you guys really want to see it, I can do a review for you guys. One of my favorite features about this train is that it has synchronized smoke, which is absolutely amazing, but right now the smoke unit is burnt out, so I need to replace that. But I still, still enjoy this engine very much, and that's that. Next, I have a 040 UP switcher. This came out of a starter set, but was sold separately. I picked this up because this was my second steam engine I ever bought after my starter set. So it, it does have a little bit of meaning towards me. Um, it does pull really well and it runs really nice. It's just a good solid engine. Next, I have the New York Central GP9. Um, this is another one of those trains where it's just like there's nothing really special about it It just it's just one of those good solid engines. That's reliable. This is um, This was actually my first diesel I ever bought it just uh, it just has a horn and um, It has two it has one motor up in the front right here and It does have magnet traction, which is nice And it's just one of those nice engines the next train on my collection list is the Chessy System U36C. Now this train was part of the limited edition series. And um, it's about 1980s, 1990s. This train, I, I, I love it so much. Um, the one thing is, it has a cat on it. The Chessy System was a older railroad. And uh, I like cats, so I thought it was cool. I don't like the paint scheme on it. It really, most of these engines nowadays are black. You never see a train that's orange and yellow and blue. So I had to pick it up. This train is also very nice. It does really good pulling freight. I do have a semi-modern freight contest that I pull behind this and it just looks amazing. Next on the list is the 211 Texas Special Alco AA units. These are post-war. They were made from 1962 to 1966. Um, the, the reason I bought these is because I do like those post-war engines. I like to preserve the history of model trains and Lino. So I picked this up. It's pretty cool. I do like having two different units right here. I think that looks cool. These right here are my um, early modern era 442 steam locomotives. The one on the outer loop um, I got to fix. Uh, I got it on eBay and they said they couldn't fix it and um, it needed repairs so I took it in and I fixed it just to like open up the train and see what really was in those trains and how to fix them which is a good skill to learn so you save yourself a little bit of money. So I ended up fixing it taking it all apart, cleaning all the parts out, and I ended up fixing it, and so now it runs pretty good. The tender needs some work though. The train on the inner loop is a Pennsylvania 
442 steam locomotive and it came in a starter set from the early modern era. So this right here is my Lionel TCA Bicentennial Special. TCA stands for Train Collectors Association. This train comes with three passenger cars and also it sort of matches my um, presidential box cars as you can see on the first shelf. So I'm very fortunate to have this sort of a rare train in my collection. I also have the Lone Ranger train set and the Hogwarts Express train set. So one thing I want to add about this layout is this is not a prototypical O scale layout. This is just my ideas onto a table. Um, this is a very limited budget layout. I do not have a lot of money to spend on this layout. So I use my resources around me and I try to save as much money as I can and this is a result. I believe in this hobby that um, you can do whatever you want. You don't have to be super prototypical or proto scale. And if that's what you want, then go ahead. But it's your empire and your layout. You can make it the way you want it to be. And this is what I thought of. So that is the overview of my 4x8 O scale layout. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm now going to run some trains for you guys. And um, stick around for the next video.